What's good, YouTube? Let's get this money. You already know we getting money. We getting honey. Y'all see the title of the video. We talking about DraftKings stock. Ticker symbol DKNG. This stock looking good on the day. After market closed, this stock over up over 4%. 4.2% to be exact on the day. It's looking good. So in this video, we go talk about my uh, prediction for this stock. What I think this stock go do by the end of the year. But first, Let's see why DraftKings stock was up so much today. Over 5, well not over 5%, but this is what the article say from the Molly Fool. It actually cooled off towards the end of market close, but it's still up over 4% on the day. So it's say, what happened? Shares of DraftKings has jumped as much as 5.1% in trading on Tuesday after announcing a big partnership in NFTs. Hey, we like that. Y'all know the NFT sector is being becoming more and more popular in the future. They gonna start making it available to buy five dollar, ten dollar NFTs, where more people gonna be able to afford NFTs, and it's just gonna be a bigger and bigger market for NFTs. So that's a big move for DraftKings with a partnership with non fungible tokens. Shares are hitting their highs of the day, as I'm writing this at 3 p.m. Okay, so yeah, all right, it's a this morning, it was announced that former Yankee Derek Jeter would place an NFT on DraftKings Marketplace. This follows digital collectibles from Tom Brady, Wayne Gretzky, Simone Biles, and a total of 40 athletes. So DraftKings, they making big moves. It's a good move for this company, man. I, I like that. I like DraftKings getting into that NFT space while it's still early. And look like the stockholders and the stock liking that news, too. Y'all see we've been trading in between the resistance and the support since September of 2020. So for about a year, we've been trading in between these, this little channel right here. And we, we slowly making our way up. And before I get into my prediction and what I think this stock will do, let's just, let's just look at their financials. Let's look at this would caught my eye right here. This is the only bad thing that I don't like about they, about their income statement. Y'all see the EBITDA. The earnings before interest, taxes, depreciation, and assets. Y'all see, they EBITDA been negative, man. Been negative. Even though from quarter one to quarter two, it went up 10 million. That's still not a big jump. I like to see this number in the positive. But maybe DraftKings doing a good doing good things when it comes to their taxes. Hopefully they got good accountants that's helping them write off some of that stuff. But earnings before taxes and all that, it's in the negative. And it's been in the negative the last two years. 2019, it was negative. 2020, it was negative. So that's one negative thing that I don't like about their income statement. But when you compare their assets, you see right now, quarter two of 2021, the assets, $3 billion. Then when you look at the liabilities, it's only six hundred and forty-seven million, and then we got a total debt of one point three two billion. So we got a almost two billion more assets than debt. So that's a good ratio right there, and y'all can see it on the chart right here. So that's that's not bad. It's not bad. It could be worse. Now let's look at this chart. Y'all see this chart? Been slowly climbing up, slowly climbing up. The stock market been running like crazy these past few months. It's just been slowly climbing up. DraftKings right now, let's see, we sitting at $63.58. We got the we got the support down here around $40. Then we got resistance up here at $70. Now, I think we gonna see a mini resistance around $65 before we get to that $70 resistance. So be expecting to see some volatility. In these next couple months with DraftKings, with this slow climb we having, and around sixty-five dollars, even around sixty-four dollars, you could see this stock start to trend down a little bit because it's trended up so fast in these past couple weeks. So you might see it climb up to around sixty-five, somewhere around there, and then get denied. But I ain't gonna really do a short-term prediction because it's unpredictable with this market with what's going on in the world we got cpi data coming out in a couple in a few days so 
I'm gonna update y'all on that too and give y'all my insight on what I think the market go do when this CPI data come out and we go see. But by the end of the year, the way this stock looking and with sports betting and gambling being more and more popular, I could easily see this stock around $70 by the end of the year. That's just a few months. And in the long term, I think this stock will do good long as they get that EBITDA up, try to get that EBITDA positive. But besides that, I don't see no negatives in this stock. And another stock that's related to this stock, y'all know, if y'all got this stock and y'all been following DraftKings, y'all know that they just acquired Golden Nugget Online Game and another company that I've been talking about for a while since they was called LCA. It's a casino gaming company and... I've been selling off my shares of this company recently because it ran up so much and I want to convert some of those shares to DraftKings shares when DraftKings dropped too. And I did a whole breakdown on why I'm selling this stock. So if y'all want to see that video, I, I'm going to leave it right here and you could go watch that video too. You might find some value out of that video right there. It's called Why I'm Selling Golden Nugget Online Gaming. Go watch that video after this video. But hey, if y'all like this video, like the video for me. Subscribe. Comment what y'all want next. Comment what y'all think about this video. Give me some video ideas. I got y'all. If y'all want a stock for me to cover, I got y'all, man. Let's get this money. I'm gone. One thing they gonna say about me is I get paid. One thing they gonna say about me is I ain't playing. One thing they gonna say about me, I never ran. I don't follow niggas. One thing that for sure, I set the trend. Yeah.